Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and you already know why I'm here. Today, I'm going to do a video that was inspired by another YouTube video I saw recently. Um, and the YouTube channel is from uh, Medicated Mediocrity. The same person has a Instagram, uh, I think it's called Silhouette and Siage. Um, you can check them out on either platform, but does a lot of um, daily reviews, um, uh, center of the day videos, kind of walks you through his day, so that's what that's about. Um, but he did a video recently on a fragrance house that is run by a YouTube reviewer, sort of, um, or personality, you can say. And, um, and that kind of made me want to do one myself on a fragrance from a YouTube personality that I feel like, um, whether they were in YouTube or not, this fragrance is amazing. Um, it just so happens that the person is in YouTube and their uh, personality, um, I'm sure, helped them get to the point where they can create this fragrance here, this entire fragrance line. But um, but I'm more drawn to the fragrance than the person behind it. It just happens that that person really knows a lot about fragrance and made a really, really great um, overall company, overall line. But this fragrance right here is what we're going to talk about today. And this is Intimus by um, Navitus Parfum. The uh, person behind this or the behind the entire house is Steven from Red Lessons YouTube channel. If you've never checked it out, I, I don't even understand how you're watching me if you haven't seen that first. Steven kind of put me on to a whole lot of fragrances when I started my fragrance journey. I'm talking about all the way back to where the skinny face and then his bearded face, then his big face, and then just... All the different backgrounds in his house, like I, I've been there through a whole lot of um, of his channel developing and finally coming to the point where he had his own fragrance line. And um, this fragrance right here, um, I was really excited about because it was kind of um, designed around the entire romantic kind of um, idea. And the uh, fragrance is a sweet fragrance. It has a lot of sweet notes. Um, it, it has been compared to another very cloningly sweet, um, candy-like fragrance um, in the industry, another famous one. But personally, I think it does its own thing. Yeah, it's sweet, but I mean, there's going to be more than one sweet fragrance. Um, Instant Crush from Ancera um, is another one. Yeah, I mean, you can go all day. If it has a sugary finish, we can't just, it can't just all be that one. Just like every pineapple fragrance can't just be a knockoff of Ventus. It's just, it has, it has pineapple also. So, Moving on, um, so we'll go into the notes of this one right here and kind of start with what really um, got my attention here. You have the bergamot, you have lemon, you have apple, orange, floral notes, and pink pepper at the top. Um, and the hard notes, you have geranium, amber, lily of the valley. So right off the bat with that apple and that, and that amber in the mid, it had already got my attention. I was already interested to see where this was going. And then in the base notes, you have patchouli. You have oak moss, toasted sugar, vanilla, woody notes, and musk. And this fragrance right here, um, personally, what I get almost from the entire, um, well, we'll start with the opening, man. Um, the apple is real. The apple is, the best way I could describe it is just, it's candy apple. It's candy, and I think that's that's where kind of for me, um, five forty and this fragrance go a totally different way. They are they do have that kind of candy finish to it, but five forty is to me it is cotton candy. So if you think about candy like fragrances, Baccarat's gonna be that cotton candy. And when I think candy fragrances, this is definitely be um, caramel or candied apple. And although I don't see the actual note of caramel here, it does have vanilla, it does have amber, it has that toasted sugar, and if you've ever seen um, caramel be made, it's kind of um, boiled down, so kind of similar to, I guess, what that toasted sugar smell would be like. But overall, this is a really, really sexy fragrance. Um, it has a really nice um, box that it comes in. That I, I know they've gotten better. The caps are prettier, um, but you know, like I say, I'm more about the fragrance. Um, I'm, I'm more impressed with what they did inside of here. 
this is a fragrance that you absolutely can wear during the summer so i don't want it to seem like i'm coming off season with this one although i'll do whatever fragrance review i feel like doing any time of the year but yeah but going back to this um when, when you open up with this fragrance right here you're gonna get that really authentic apple it does have lemon with the orange but i think that the orange really helps to sweeten that i never feel any um sharp you know um tanginess from the bergamot or the lemon it's a very soft citrus um but the apple kind of takes over for me the most in the opening it's a very sweet kind of apple um and the uh the fragrance will start to transition into that uh that amber and that amber in the mid it doesn't just take over the apple i feel like it just really turns it into a a very candied um what you love most about amber if you love amber that that vanilla kind of sweet smell over that that apple that really comes through and then um once you get to the dry down you have that toasted vanilla and that's where i think um you get a lot of the comparison to um to baccarat i think it's that it's mostly that dry down but but um but that dry down is just so amazing as well man because for me i feel like the apple never really leaves so it's just it's more of a, a process of going from a a sweet apple to starting to wrap it in in caramel and adding sugar dust on it it's just the entire process it just gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter to the very end and even when it's a skin scent it's just one of those fragrances where you really want to smell it um whether it's on you you keep going for it and if the person who's with you um you already got to that point where you're getting close to each other they're gonna want to feel that liberty to get close and smell it too this is um without a doubt a unisex fragrance um if you have it and your girl comes over she's gonna try to wear some of it and if you got it and your boyfriend's coming over he's gonna wear some of it like it's that good and the amazing thing with this some fragrances can't pull it off some do a lot do but all fragrances can pull it off where when a man wears it it just it's meant for that man at that moment and when your girl wears it she's the sexiest female on earth it's just it just got that vibe it works well with your um with with, with the individual who's wearing it this is a killer right here for sure um intimus and it gives that vibe exactly it's, it creates an intimate vibe for you um it does have a really strong opening so you you will get a centrail you will get that see you if you're about people noticing you and telling you smell good you're gonna get that but if you're about that closeness and smelling good for the person you with only by the time you get to that dry down it's just you two and it's gonna last for a while so it's definitely gonna keep that vibe going um i haven't done any other videos or really haven't highlighted um navi tools that much because i'm kind of still getting into it but i will like to say that there is another fragrance i'm going away from the um candy stuff um and it's oud imperium um i think that's yes oud imperium and this is their uh their take on oud and i'm gonna tell you um this is not a full review on this this is just i wanted to highlight this because if you were thinking about messing with this and you hadn't yet um this is really quality with first of all this is really finely blended oud there's no harshness here there's no rough spots this is just um this is also not a candy oud this is not one of the oud that is predominantly ambers and vanilla to kind of smooth it out and make it acceptable this is good because it's good because it's well blended um but um if you if you were wondering about this i i definitely do vouch for this one i'll probably do a video on it later um uh, but this one right here if you're wondering if you've ever smelled um alexandria um the eau um edition from zerzhov it kind of, I feel like it kind of does a lot of what that one does. Um, no funkiness of the oud here, I will say that. And I feel like Alexandria opens up with this kind of funky note. Um, fruity kind of, but a funky oud, like very strong. Um, quality oud nonetheless, but still, it's not it's not the uh, the American um, oud, I would say. It's definitely a more Middle Eastern um, type of oud, more, more stronger. Um, but it dies down kind of quickly. The lavender will take over and... Is that is that marriage between lavender and oud that goes very well? Um, this never has that um, type of transition. This is just uh, really good quality oud. Some some sweet notes in there. 
Um, again, I'm not going to do a whole video on this. This is kind of just to highlight um, Intimus um, and um, Ud Imperium. And I guess Navitus as a brand. Um, and really just highlighting that every YouTuber might have a dream of putting out perfume. Not everyone will. Um, some of them are going to succeed. Some of them are not. And some of them want to give you what they feel they need to put out in order to make money back immediately. And some are going to give you quality um, fragrance. And I feel like with um, Red Lessons from Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, he took his love for the art of perfumery, even though he's not a perfumer himself. But just the overall industry and the, his love of, of fragrances and really put it into this final product. Um and there's also, I think, um, Zaharoff is the name of the company. Don't know them all, but I believe that's how you pronounce it. Has three um, reviewers dropping fragrances um, at the end of this month. And I know one of them, just based on the notes I read, I, I felt like I had to order it. And it's um, one from Curly Sense. Um, I don't know all the reviewers. Um, Copeland, I think, is one of them also. Trumpet guy. Um, I saw them all at the uh, at the Scent Explorer. Um, didn't get a chance to speak to anybody except I think for Cubano and um, and Stephen for adolescents where I got to ask them a little bit about the fragrance line right before it dropped. Um, but that's really it, man. Um, I don't have that much more. I just really wanted to highlight two of what I consider to be really dope fragrances, um, really well priced, um, considering the quality you're gonna get from these um, high high quality. Um, last on your skin a lot just do what they're supposed to do um, so if you're interested in a sweet candy vibe fragrance that smells good that your girl's gonna really like on you or your boyfriend um, you should check this out Intimus by Navitus Parfum and if you're into darker more challenging fragrances uh, not that it is challenging but this is not your everyday Macy's counter fragrance this is not what everybody in the club wearing this is definitely going to set you apart. It's a great smell. It smells regal. It smells like professionally blended oud. You're definitely getting what you pay for with this fragrance. And this is, again, Oud Imperium, also by Navitus um, Parfums. That's all I got for you folks today. Thank you for your time. It's Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and I'm out.